Hello, good afternoon, this is Diecast Looney and I hope you're all doing well and this afternoon's video is going to be a challenge, a challenge put out by me and it is the Bugs and Buses Challenge and it is pretty much what it says it is, it's show your Volkswagen Bugs, your Beetles, sorry Volkswagen Beetles um, and your campers and buses and all that good stuff and as the video goes along you'll get to see you'll get the idea basically of what it is to show. There is no limit on this. You can show as little or as many as you like. The idea is, it's just to have a bit of fun. We've all, I know most of the community, most of the diecast community are Volkswagen fans in some way or another. Um, but, <clears throat> excuse me, I would like to keep this primarily air-cooled stuff, like the Volkswagen Beetles and the buses and the Type 1s and all that type of stuff, um, if possible. Um, like I said, my, my car history, I'm a big Volkswagen fan. I don't really go on about it a lot like that. Um, you either know I am or you don't. But my, my Volkswagen interest is more in the sort of Golf GTIs. Um, I was in several clubs about 10 years ago and I've owned, I've owned most Polos that were made and most of the Golfs and I was, I've had quite a few um, Golf VR6s and, and all that type of stuff and Chirocos and and uh, I don't anymore, unfortunately. I would like to get back into it again. Obviously, just circumstances have changed a little bit since then. So I thought, why not do something on the air-cooled stuff, as it's not something I know as much about. But uh, anyway, with that, we will get straight into it. And uh, I know someone that will be enjoying having a go at this challenge will be uh, Paul from Witch City Collector, um, as he has a fine fine collection of Volkswagens, large and small. But anyway, the first one in the back is um, a Majorette, uh, or so I say from Majorette, and obviously it is a Volkswagen Beetle, um, with this awesome little trailer combination. In It's a very pale green, so we will just pull it off and look at that in a minute. So, pretty cool from Majorette. I quite like these wheels, as I know there's a lot of controversy over Majorette wheels. You either like them or you don't, but this is quite nice. And it is all painted in, and it's got an older style window, so it looks like an older Volkswagen. It's based on, and um, there's the front. Two seconds. So I've got a hair on the viewfinder. And uh, obviously the lights are part of the windscreen, but still pretty cool. And this has an opening feature on the front. <coughs> Excuse me. And in the front is, is, would be the fuel tank anyway, um, which it looks sort of similar to where the fuel tank would be. But pretty cool. So that is the first piece. And like I said, we'll, we'll take a quick look at the trailer that came with it. Again, the same color as the car. Has some uh, tail light detail and does have an opening feature but whether we've got to see into it or not will be another thing i can see um a chair and a table in there but like i said it is very dark so that's gonna be the first piece which i'll move to one side and then just bear with me two seconds sorry about that someone was shouting if i wanted a cup of tea um anyway the next piece will be another volkswagen beetle and this one is from Corgi. This is a piece my son got me, my uh, older boy bought me. It is from Corgi. And um, this is based on more of an original style. I, th I, th I think the first ever Beetle, um, I think it was produced or designed about 1938, around that area. And this has got the same sort of kidney-shaped windows and vents as the 38. But it does look like it's based on an older design. Or the older design, should I say. And has these awesome little hubcapped wheels. But pretty cool from Corgi. And obviously the front lights are painted in. And the bottom's very basic. <coughs> but it is very cool nonetheless. So that is a nice yellow beetle from Corgi. So that'll be piece number two. And it's very much looking at it. Now it's off view, you can't see it. But it's, I'm just going to show it again quickly. It is very... Very well sized, almost the same size as the, um, maybe a little bit wider than the uh, Majorette. But anyway, 
Uh, the next, next piece, which will be piece number three, is going to be from Matchbox. This is a piece I showed fairly, not that long ago, but this is a piece from Matchbox. Um, and this is a Type 1 bus. So as you can see, it has the nice um, sunshine roof or ragtop, whatever you want to call it. But you can see it has seats in the back so like i said this would be classed as the bus this is this is the <clears throat> back in the day when these came out you could get them in bus form i'm not quite sure when they started to become campers but i know they were i'm not sure they called these micro buses i can't remember now but this is a cool example and this being this is a sort of um late 90s um model of a volkswagen from matchbox it does have Suspension, the matchbox suspension, but this is pretty cool. So that is the Volkswagen Type 1 split screen, I presume, because you can just, yeah, it's got the split screen bus. So that's piece number three. I've got about 14 pieces to go through, so not too many. Um, staying with that same era for matchbox, so sort of late 90s, is this another Volkswagen Beetle with the uh, little trailer that detaches. And again, I showed this not all that long ago. And this comes in many forms. They're still making this casting today. I have got some modern interpretations of this, but I didn't pull any out. I thought I'd stay with the some of the older ones. There's a bit of a mix today of old and new. But again, has that same theme in the red. Nice bit of suspension, which you don't get on the newer ones, unfortunately. And obviously the tow hitch. And then you've got this cool, which does lift up. Get it to come up bear with me it's tight and you've got this collapsible trailer with a man in blue in bed you can see the sink and i think there is a dog in there but you can't quite see it so that is that so let's just pop that back onto there if we can so there you go it's the beetle with its trailer or a collapsible caravan so that was a pretty cool piece. And um, I just thought I'd show something as well. Some of the older matchboxes, again, they used to have these awesome steering wheels, which I wish they'd, again, wish they would do on the newer stuff. You know, rather than them solid lumps. You can quite see that. But anyway, that's just me thinking out loud. And then the next piece is going to be the cool combi in the Moon Eyes livery which I know is quite popular at the moment. This is one that I did a wheel swap and a bit of a detail on. So I've changed it for these awesome green light wheels and painted the surfboards in the back. Did some motor detail, some lights, and uh, it didn't turn out too bad. And there's the front. And I made it, if you can believe it, <coughs> even lower than it was. It was already low and it's still does roll quite well, considering it's on green light wheels, which aren't the best rollers, or at least in this application. So that is the cool combi. So that takes us up to piece number five. And then again, back to the Volkswagen Beetles. Now this is from, I can't remember who this one's made by now. There you go, King Smart. And it says it's in 164 scale and it looks to be in 164 scale pretty much and this is something i found quite a while ago at a little um second hand store a little second hand shop and i think i paid 50p for it. it wasn't a lot but i just like the way that it's got inserted details on in the front you can see the little vents there on the front by the lower part of the i don't know what you'll call this um boot in this country trunk in america frunk whatever you want to call it but you can see the little vents are painted in. You've got the, the indicator marker lights are painted in. And the rear is all done with a little plate. Which is good for something that's... And it's also a pullback. So, <clears throat> quite a unique little piece. And quite nicely done too. And it has got a steering wheel in there somewhere. So that is pretty cool. So that's piece number six. And then going back... We'll go back to another. This one's a camper. And this is one of my favorite styles of camper. This is a um, brain switched off now. Uh, T3, Type 3. 
Um, this is from Shuko, so it's a very nicely made, very nice and weighty piece. As you can see, so it has got lens lights. I'm not sure if they're part of the screen, but they are, at least they are lensed. And it is all nicely done, as you can see. And I think it says West Failure. Is that right? But this would be something that when you camp out with it, this would lift up. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a straight up or if it can go to the side or what, but pretty cool. And there you go. I put a plate on it because I thought it was missing. It needed a plate. But the rear lights are done really nice too. And like I said, really weighty piece. Very nicely detailed. And there's the metal base. And you've got some engine detail. And a spare wheel there in the front. And again, it rolls quite nice. <laughs> So that is the Type 3 camper. So pretty cool. And then staying with the Sh uh, Shuko, um, Shuko cars, we got this little Volkswagen Beetle again from Shuko. In I'm just trying to figure out what the colour is. It, it's like a dark, it almost looks dark brown, but I think it's actually maroon. But again got these awesome matching wheel colors to the body and you've got the um awesome and these hubcaps are really quite nicely detailed too um and again nice and weighty as it's metal bottom metal base sorry metal body and it's got some luggage on top suitcases and again this is one of my favorite volkswagen beetles and it's just so nicely done so there you go again lensed rear tail lights this one is a 1500 they did vary in engine sizes from 12 to 13 to 1500 cc's and all that good stuff. And again, lensed on the front. So a particularly nice piece. And again, it does roll quite nice. So let's have a little look. So that's what, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight already. Uh, number nine is going to be again from another, say again, going to be again, it's the first one I think so far. Second one from Hot Wheels is this moon eyes beetle pickup which like i said i've never actually seen one of these in real life i don't think but they do exist but pretty cool and like i said obviously in the moon eyes livery i think these are called aero disc wheels which are a bit different but not too bad and there you go got a fuel can in the back so that is the moon eyes beetle pickup and then I thought it was a good excuse as I'm doing this video. I did say I was going to do this. I thought I'd show the custom that I did the other day as it's now daylight. So it does stand out better. So I was quite impressed with the paint on it. Because the day I finished this, it was actually raining. And I was jumping in and out from outside to inside to outside. Trying to get the last coats of lacquer done. So that it sealed them transfers on nicely and gives that, that almost when the when the lack is too thin the transfers you can see them clearly on the car but these these do look they do look like they're in in the paint a little bit there but you can see the detail and see the seat belts better now i'm really happy with this the way it turned out i'm quite quite happy with it so that is my beach buggy custom that i did so again that brings us up to what we're up to now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten a couple more to go and then this one is from hot wheels this is a super treasure hunt um this is the only and first super treasure hunt i've ever found um, i think i have one other super treasure hunt in my collection but it was one that i kate i had given to me it wasn't one that i'd so this is this is special because not only is it one that i really wanted when it came out and didn't find it but the fact that it was just hanging there and pound land next to some other matchbox and Hot Wheels and it was just swinging away there and I couldn't believe it was out in the open so I was very lucky to come across it. Some months after these had died off a little bit as in other words I think the next case was out and the next Super Treasure Hunt was out or whatever I can't remember now but this is the Kafer Racer I believe but it is obviously based on the Volkswagen Beetle and I think it's got an engine in the back you can see it there poking out in the seats there but awesome piece in spectra flame dark red or is an actual burgundy red but very cool 
And then we got one from Matchbox. This is from the Power Grabs range, I believe. Is that the Power Grabs? And it is a metallic silvery blue color. I'm not so keen on this type of these uh, later Beatles. I'm never really keen on them, but it is a cool piece. It's just done nice. It's obviously all tampered in really nicely. You've got legible plate, sun and fun, and their usual cool five spoke wheels. So that is the Beetle Convertible from Matchbox. And then the piece I'm going to finish off with is a piece that I restored about a year, two years ago. I kind of when I did this now. It was a while ago now I restored this. It was in the right state. The doors were missing. I had to get pattern doors, which they do open. Uh, just bear with me. Try and find the way they open. There we go, just open the one. They do open, but I had to get pattern doors for it and I had to make them fit because they weren't, uh, they obviously they were just someone, I'm not sure, sure who had cast them, but they were a little bit off. And then I didn't have the exact silver shade, so I gave it my own shade of silver and redid the wheels as they were scratched badly. I couldn't get the scratches out of the glass. As the glass is very thin, this is a casting from the early 60s, I believe, so they are very thin to try and try to break them. The interior had broke up as it had rotted and I glued it all back together. It should have had a black base, but I gave it a, a silver base, but it didn't turn out too bad. Let's see if we can get these doors open properly if I can. Just bear with me. Let's see. There we go. See the interior. And you can't see where I've, where I've repaired it, so, which is good because it was in a pretty bad state. But anyway, with that, Please like, share, subscribe. Have a go at the challenge. It's a good bit of fun. It's a bit of free content if you've got some Volkswagens in your collection, which I'm sure everybody has. So you can show your buses, your campers, your uh, Beetles, obviously, your, your beach buggies, your sand rails. Try and keep it air-cooled if you can. But with that, I will see you all very soon. Thank you for watching.